Nyt sinä sitten lähdet. Niin. Minä olisin tahtonut tulla mukaasi. Tiedän, mutta minun pitää lähteä yksin. Minä tulinkin vain sanomaan hyvästit. Hyvästi, muumipeikko. Palaatko sinä taas keväällä? Tapaamme jälleen ensi vuonna. Kevään ensi päivänä. Hyvästi, nuuska muikkunen. Previously in the opening of my 300 plus subscriber special, I talked about how Tuve Jansson as the creator of the Moomins had based some of the characters on herself and her family members. And since it wasn't relevant to bring up in that video, but is in this one, I'm going to start by drawing attention to what characters were based on her life partners. For example, her partner Tuulikki Pietilä was the basis for the character of Tuutikki, who is more of a gentle side character living in the boathouse by the sea. Then there are Tiuhti ja Viuhti, or Thin Gummy and Bob in English, who were based on Tuve herself and Vivika Bandler, her lover from before homosexuality became legalized. Their storyline with the Kuningas Rubini which they were hiding in a suitcase, was used as an allegory for Tuve and Vivika hiding their relationship back in those days. And maybe also the fact that their relationship was an affair, with Vivika being a married woman with a husband, on whom was then probably based on. But in getting to what this video is supposed to be about, Tuve Jansson's first heartbreak came from a man she was initially engaged to be married with named Aatos Virtanen, who due to his job as a Finnish member of the parliament was forced to come and go in traveling, which ended their engagement, but they remained as friends. And from that last bit you can probably guess that Aatos Virtanen was a major inspiration for the character of Nuuska Muikkunen after whom this game is named after. Okay, that was enough relevant Pride Month acknowledgement. Now let's talk about Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley. The game was developed by Hyper Games and published by Raw First on Steam and for Nintendo Switch back in March 7, 2024. It plays as an adventure and problem-solving game, where you get to explore the Moomin Valley and the Hattifattens Island as the named character Snufkin. But for some reason, the developers must have taken the ending theme of the 90s anime literally. Hey, and locked both doors to the moving house in making it unavailable for exploring during the long day the game is set in. Some characters are also restricted to just being in side quests, but I'm going to talk about those later. The story in the game starts from when Snufkin is once again leaving away for the winter, when the Moomins will be sleeping during it. Unlike how I always understood it from the 90s anime Tanyoshi Moomin Ikka, instead of traveling to south, he is instead shown camping out in the snowy forests on the other side of the lonely mountains. The game's tutorial is then Snufkin returning back to the Moomin Valley in the spring which includes a retelling of him meeting and naming this character. Hei kuule sinun nimesi. Sinä muistit! Sopisiko vaikka Titi Uu? Iloinen alku Titi ja sen jälkeen monta surullista uuta loppuun. Titi Uu? Niin juuri. Titi Uu. Titi Uu. Titi Uu. Titi Uu! Titi Uu! Titi Uu! Titi Uu! <laughs> Olen iloinen, että pidät siitä. En ole ennen joutunut antamaan kenellekään nimeä. The tutorial also teaches how Snufkin can use his harmonica to play like the Pied Piper of Hamelin, before he later gets an actual flute later, and how his skills playing the instruments can be improved by collecting inspiration, which are the game's experience points. 
The main plot is then teased first when Snufkin runs into Muskrat and some fleeing creeps, before coming across a park built with rule signs, which establishes the game to be inspired by Tuve Jansson's book Vaarallinen Juhannus, or Moomin Summer Madness in English. I do not own a copy of this book, nor have I found any readable copies of it online, but the anime I grew up watching adapted it as a three-parter which matches the book's Wikipedia summary, so I was able to recognize where the pulling the rule signs of the ground came from. Hey, mitä te teette? Yhdessä kiertotaulussa kieletään kiertotaulujen poistaminen! Tässäkö? Niin! Mm. Ah, lopettakaa! The game's main antagonist is the parkkeeper, who has taken up to turn in the Moomin Valley into his own image, which also includes statues that Snufkin can push down for inspiration points along with pulling out the signs. After having gotten rid of one park on his way back by removing the signs, reminding the Renta Cups on how they are hired to be guarding them, Snufkin returns to the Moomin Valley in expecting to find Moomin Troll waiting for him at the bridge they said goodbyes. But instead he finds Moomi Mamma weeping over her dying garden, Moomi Pappa complaining about the loss of his masterpiece of a play script and boat, and the river below the bridge dried out without Moomi Troll waiting for Snufkin's return. The only clues Snufkin finds are frozen tracks on the ground, and little Mai announcing to him that the Groke has taken Moomi. A story which already has holes, because Mai's tale has Moomi Troll sleeping in his winter slumber in the living room on the ground floor instead of in his own room on the top floor. This is established as Moomin Troll's room in the first scene of the opening of the anime. But so as Snufkin's only lead, he follows the icy tracks to another park's construction site that turns him away from it and goes deeper into the forest looking for the grove. By the way, this is how the Grove was introduced in Tanoshi Moomin Iikka. Se tulee! Niin tuleekin! Kuka kumma tulee? Hörkö! Hörkö! Tiedätkö sinästä? En ole nähnyt, mutta pelottava hirviö se on. Aset käteen, perhekallis! Se on... täällä! Eikä ole! Mikään ei estä nipsua lähtemästä kotiin. Mm-hmm. Ei ristin sielua. Mm-hmm. Uh. However, despite the bad first impressions, which are recreated in this game with a chase sequence where Snufkin has to run away from the Grogue in being attracted to the lamp and warmth in Snufkin's lantern, she is not really that bad, just cursed to being a walking wasteland in spreading a cold atmosphere. This is later shown after Snufkin has managed to get away from her and caught up with the Renakops, who in their comical incompetence not only end up telling Snufkin that they ran Moomin after the parkkeeper to the Hattifattens island, but also end up causing a forest fire by having set up a fire next to dry vegetation. Thanks to the Grove's cold atmosphere, she is drawn to the flames and able to put them out as well as help Snufkin intimidate the rent agaps away. For helping save the forest from the fire, Grove is accepted as a friend by the critters who also give Snufkin a flute, before he heads out to the shore to learn from Tuutikki that Moomin has taken Pappa's boat to go after the parkkeeper on the Hattifattens island. In order to go after him, Tuutikki offers to build Snufkin a raft if he can find her the needed materials, which includes rope tied to the sea monster, cloth from the lighthouse episode's ghost after teaming up with it to scare rent cups away from another park, a long tree branch won from Snork in a river race that Snufkin totally didn't cheat at. Oh, I see where this is going. This is the grill. Fun kind of cheating. And Nork can't even che- call us out for cheating because we are just playing the harmonica. How come Snork isn't even trying to watch how it uh, 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 observe the race? He's just stayed back. Kuinka minä, joka olen niin järkevä, kuin olla niin vähä älyinen. And they needed the logs from helping Moomipappa with the saw. 
Unfortunately, when Snufkin set sail to Hattifatten's island, little Mai turns up to have sneaked along with him by thinking that Snufkin is going on a treasure hunt. Then a storm rises and causes the raft to get shipwrecked at the Hattifatten's island, where Snufkin and little Mai luckily find a Moomipappa's boat to get back, but first they need to find a new sail on it and Moomip troll who came here before them. Or that is what Snufkin focuses on, while little Mai is obsessed in finding some imaginary treasure. There is indeed a shipwrecked pirate ship on the island, but Snufkin is more focused on finding Moomin, which leads him to learn how the parkkeeper has built on another park on the island. And he has also built it around the Hattifatten sacred barometer, which those of us who grew up watching the 90s anime would know that the Hattifattens are ready and willing to go to war for it if you dare to disturb it. Otan heidän surkean ilmapuntarinsa. Se tuskin on viisasta. Later in the next episode. On liian aikasta panna maata. Taidaanpa lähteä kävelylle. 16 seconds later. Ja mulli tuli takaisin! Sieltä he tulevat! Ne kummitusotukset! Hattivatit ovat täällä. Noin paljon ja kaikki hekkuvat. Kuules, Hemuli. Saaren kaikki hattivatit ovat tulleet tänne. Tilanne näyttää jokseenkin vakavalta. Luckily Snufkin is there to help taking down the park and let the Hattifattens keep their barometer, for which they give him a drum as thanks, before he then learns that Moomin Troll also tried to do this same thing and failed, which has led to him being taken captive to be imprisoned by the park keeper back at Moomin Valley. In order to follow them back to Moomin Valley, Snufkin and Little Mai properly join forces to find a new sail from Moomin Papa's boat from the pirate ship from which Little Mai still wants to find a treasure from. Turns out that there is a treasure, but the park keeper has confiscated it, which turns Mai's previous apathy at his influence on the Moomin Valley into motivative rage, which they can put into a good use after finding a new sail from Moomipappa's boat and return to Moomin Valley. Back at the shore, Snufkin and Little Mai are told by Tuutikki that the parkkeeper has imprisoned Moomin into a cell in his mansion's backyard, where Moomipappa and Moomimamma are in vain trying to ask for their son to be released. Because the parkkeeper believes in his own hype so much, but luckily that has also made him a cheapskate in not only hiring incompetent rent accounts, but also to have placed his cousin as Moomin's prison guard. The parkkeeper's cousin is also such a passive person that she lets it slip out that her cousin can be distracted by theater, which gives Moomipappa an idea to adapt his lost masterpiece into a theater show to pull the parkkeeper out of his mansion, so that Snufkin can sneak in there and free Moomin troll. At this point, the game would probably get stuck if you have not collected enough pages from Moomipappa's play scattered around the valley and on the Hattifattens island, but if you have collected enough to have a play for Pappa to adapt, then Snufkin and Little Mai are sent to deliver invitations for people like Snork, Tuutikki, Hemulen, as well as the parkkeeper so he can leave his house and take his rent a cups with him. By the way, Hemuli, remember that time you managed to finish up your stamp collection and were depressed about what you would do next? I recall Snufkin having suggested for you to collect butterflies, to which you responded with Ei tule kuuloonkaan. Serkkuni kerää niitä ja hän on täysi tollo. So, what made you change your mind about collecting butterflies in this side quest? Kun asia on niin, että... Öö... <laughs> Well, as long as he is showing up to Pappa's play and... Oh right, the play also needs the theater costumes that Mrs. Filiong has taken to her home, to which Snufkin has to take a long detour while being chased by Woodies, 
who then helps Lufkinen get in Mrs. Philly, jonka out of her house, and talk her into giving the theater costumes to Snufkin to deliver. She also becomes joyful to attend the play in hearing that Parkkeeper will be attending, along with most people in the valley, except for Snork Maiden, who got reduced into a short side quest character for some reason. Or Stinky, but Stinky being Stinky is a good reason to exclude him. Snork Maiden is not even featured participating in the play unlike Little Mai and Sniff, who was also in a somewhat separated side quest earlier in the game. But with Moomipappa's play keeping everyone distracted, Snufkin sneaks into the parkkeeper's mansion for the key to Moomin Troll's cell and releases his old friend into a Your mileage may very embrace. With Moomin now free, he tells Snufkin that they need to get through the last park between them and the dam keeping the water from the Moomin Valley. By the way, before returning to the theater, I had Snufkin finish a side quest for Muskrat in upgrading Snufkin's running stamina. But in climbing the fence to get to the last park, Snufkin falls and breaks his ankle, so Moomin has to carry him without the upgraded stamina, or Snufkin's instruments helping distract the remaining rentacups guarding the park. It's a good thing those rentacups are scared of the thunder, so Moomin and Snufkin can sneak past them between thunder strikes and eventually open the dam to bring up that one big plot point from Moomin Midsummer Madness that was missing, aka the flood, which luckily only ends up destroying the parkkeeper's mansion. Fortunately, he doesn't end up being too mad about that, because apparently Moomipappa's play has managed to touch the parkkeeper enough to make him see the error of his ways. Moomin Troll then suggests that the parkkeeper could change his profession in taking charge of the theater if he is so passionate about it. They reach an agreement as the game then ends, with Moomin and Snufkin finally getting to hang out at their spot on the bridge. Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley was a game I randomly came across on Steam one day before it came out, and put on my wishlist waiting for the right time to get it with my current budget. Having played through it twice now, on stream, and on my own, because there is copyrighted music in it that had to be turned off with the streamer mode, I suppose I could recommend it to non-Moomin fans as an introduction, and if they have four hours to spare in playing through it, because gameplay-wise, exploring the Moomin Valley as Snufkin is definitely not a waste of time, and it is also not stressful, so you can also relax while playing it. Even though stealth sections when sneaking around the rent a cups while dismantling the parks is fun in a charming way, unless you end up missing a few signs and need to backtrack. But as a Moomin fan, I must acknowledge that the game is a little held back and restrained by not being able to pay attention to all the Moomin characters. I think Little Mai was given some of Sniff's greed on the Hattifatten's island, because they recognized too late that Sniff couldn't come, because he is too scared of drowning to travel across the sea there. Sniff's involvement was also reduced to a dungeon in looking for his stuffed animal Cedric before being on Moomipappa's play with Little Mai, but Snork Maiden's inclusion in just one side quest feels like a last second add-on, especially when her brother Snork was given a bigger role than her. She could have been at the very least included as a support character in the side quest involving Ninni and Stinky, but hey, this was a small indie game and not a triple A game, so I can understand why corners had to be cut. In the end, I'm more happy than disappointed to have managed to play Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley, and do recommend other people to experience it fully with those aspects I chose to omit from my story recap. Yes, I may have spoiled certain aspects of it, but there are characters and story beats that I chose not to talk about enough to keep it fresh. With the game also being based on Moomin Summer Madness, it is fitting that I aim for it to be posted around Midsummer. And after this, I will be focusing on those two movie reviews I said I'd get out in my previous video, while also trying to get Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 3 close enough done before the movie comes out. 
Until I get those done, do me the favor of liking this video, comment if you have played this game too or got interested to play it, share this video for more people to see, and subscribe for the other videos I will have coming in the future. Also, ding the bell to be alerted for when I will be doing gameplay streams for a chat to chat with me, and may your heart be your guiding key.